Today we're going to take a look at the X-Men Grand Design Omnibus by Ed Pisker. It has a 488 page count and the cover price of $100. The next giveaway is worldwide. One lucky winner will win the X-Men Omnibus Volume 1 DM Variant Jack Kirby cover. You'll also get a Powers of X Issue 1 Diodato 1 and 200 Virgin Variant as well as King Spawn number one, Greg Capullo raw sketch variant. To win, you must be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I promote the giveaway. When we hit 750 subscribers, I'll pick a random video and then use a random comment generator to pick the winner. Good luck. Let's hop right into this omnibus review. This is the X-Men Grand Design Omnibus by Ed Pisker. He's known for Hip Hop Family Tree and currently Red Room. He also uh, has a YouTube channel, uh, Cartoonist Kayfabe. So if you want to check that out, definitely go ahead and do it. Love the artwork on the dust jacket cover here. You got like the evolution of the mutants here, which is pretty cool. Uh, on the left hand side of the dust jacket, you get like some reviews of the book. And on the right hand side, you get a short little biography on Ed Pisker. Uh, I love like the weathered look to this book. This is one of the main things that I like about this uh, this whole book here is just the, the the way the pages are. The pages are super thick in this book. I mean, this isn't a very long book. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, scripts laid out throughout the back. Uh, these are broken up into six episodes. Uh, this is uh, how the book is done. You get episode one here. So uh, this book collects uh, X-Men Grand Design 1 through 2, Second Genesis 1 through 2, and Extension 1 through 2. With X-Men 1963 issue 1, Giant Size X-Men number 1, and X-Men 268 by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee. So uh, this is all now collected in omnibus format. And it's uh, basically Ed Pisker's love letter to the, um, the X-Men. It's like 30 years of X-Men goodness compacted into these like six episodes, as they say. Uh, you know, he, he has a, a definitely a unique style of artwork, but I think it fits really well for this book. Um, Especially the way that the uh, like the weathered age look of the pages is, I think everything goes together real cool. It has like an element of uh, also like the animated series, so uh, you know it's definitely it's not for everybody I would say, but I definitely like it. It's all uh, narrated by Watu the Watcher, so most of it is really just him telling the story of the X Men over this like 30 year period, which is pretty cool. So it starts out with the uh, you know Professor X getting the original team, Marvel Girl, Beast, Angel uh cyclops ice man so it's pretty good it, it it does go super fast so you're gonna you're gonna miss out on a good amount of things he covers uh pretty much most of the real like high points of the uh the x-men one of the mo some of the most memorable things that have happened in x-men history which is pretty cool uh you know the brotherhood of evil mutants you get kane marco who turns into the juggernaut uh you know vanisher bunch of uh uh, decent characters you get sentinel action throughout it of course because they play a big part throughout the x-men history um there's some politicalness there's a lot of uh, the dark phoenix stuff is collected you get some inferno you get um a little bit of mutant massacre it's a uh, just jam-packed full of uh you know basically all the x-men history i don't know how he broke it down into this little amount of issues but man he did a fairly decent job of doing it and uh you know it's a fast-paced read it's definitely enjoyable if you're a uh, if you're if you're a person who wants to get into the X-Men. This is definitely a book for you to pick up, just so you can uh, kind of quickly learn about the X-Men history. It's a you know I the artwork I love it personally. I think it looks great. Uh, I like the quality of this book as well. The quality of the book is super good. I mean these pages are nice and thick. Here you get the uh, giant size X-Men issue one there with Krakoa. So uh, some sentinel action. So it just really just goes through the whole history of X-Men at like an insane amount of speed. Um, there's a lot to cover. And, uh, you know, it's uh, he does a great job at doing it. You know, this volume here is kind of where it starts to get more deeply involved with uh, the Dark Phoenix saga and all that with the Hellfire Club. Um, you know, you get Madeline Pryor in this eventually as well. Uh you know, a bunch of different random kind of characters show up throughout it. You get, like, the origin story of Storm. You get the origin story of uh, Gambit real quick. You get the introduction of Rogue. You get the introduction of uh, Jubilee as well. So there's just a ton of, like, kind of first appearances, I guess you could say, in uh, in this book. Uh, like a retelling of those instances that have happened. Uh, 
you get some great stuff with the Morlocks. You get a uh, Storm and uh, Kalisto battling it out. Uh, so she becomes the leader of the Morlocks eventually. So you get Brood stuff here as well, which is always cool. Oh yeah, here's the battle with uh, Storm and uh, Kalisto. So always cool to see some Morlock action, man. So it gets into like the Mutant Massacre stuff. Uh, just a, a crazy amount of retelling of the uh, X-Men history. It's a uh, super badass man i i enjoyed this book a lot it's a it's a pretty quick read the uh it's it's a little hard to read i will say though because the print is very small uh but uh nonetheless it's great you get some uh, mr sinister action there this is when like the madeline Pryor stuff comes in you end up finding out she's the clone uh you know it's a it's a cool thing man storm with the mohawk uh some just classic x-men moments and uh Oh, yeah, Mystique action going on there as well. But I love this book, man. The artwork is great. I would love to see Ed Pisker. I've said it before on social media and whatnot. Uh, I would love to see him do a retelling of Spawn in the same style. There you get some uh, Inferno right there. Very short Inferno. But, uh, but yeah, if he did Spawn this way, just retold the story of Spawn, man, I would love it. Because it, Spawn is crazy. Cyclops just blasting Mr. Sinister right there. But I think, like, the, the way his artwork style is and everything and how good he is at storytelling, I think it would be, uh, I think he would just kill it with that. So right after this is where you get introduced to Jubilee. She pops up in there, which is cool. You get that iconic Wolverine cover, kind of like homage there. Some Dazzler action. Uh, you know, so we're getting up more towards the, uh, the almost 90s style, uh, stuff right there where everything gets a little bit more politicized uh more action with like robert kelly and uh you know all the uh, mutants are being accused here and they all choose death um and then the blink so this here is like all the stuff that has to do with the uh the mutant registration act and the institution of project nimrod with the sentinels and all that and it's uh you know the days of the future past so right here is just basically you know goes back and resets the timeline and uh little page there with everybody who's ever worked on the x-men uh then you get uh the x-men issue one so it's a just a reprint of uh the first issue of the x-men which is kind of cool to have i love the look of it. it it looks pretty badass with the age looked here which is pretty cool and then you get giant size x-men as well so the new team with colossus and storm and lake crawler and thunderbird and man it's a it's, it's just cool to see this uh reprinted like this I'm, it's kind of random that these are included in this book, but uh, it's still pretty cool nonetheless just to have in here to, to flip through. But if you have the other omnibuses with them collected, there's no reason really to read it at all. But um, it's just cool to see it with this, uh, you know, the great page quality that is in this book and like the age look. Krakoa just looking real sick in this as well. Like the age effect, man. It, lo it, it looks cool. It definitely looks cool. And then you get the uh, X-Men 268 as well. So, uh is with the Captain America and uh, Black Widow, Wolverine. Some great uh, artwork throughout this issue, man. That is the, uh, right there, the Gem Mint got the uh, the, the exclusive shirt, uh, which is a pretty sick shirt, man. Artwork inspired from that. And then uh, let's see what else we have in here. You, you get a little bit of a, like, backstory of uh, Ed Pisker there, him playing, like, old X-Men video games, his action figure collection. His mom is an artist. He used to, like, compare artwork together some old like panels and stuff that he drew of x-men when he was a little kid i used to do the same shit man i used to draw x-men pictures all the time i have some i think somewhere actually still so then he does the whole script to the book so you'll just get the exact storyline but this is just the script um from uh, the actual uh volumes there before so i'll skip through that because it's really kind of unnecessary but uh you get you know the little uh covers here and whatnot his little uh, sketches that he drew up and uh you know, it's an awesome book, man. I absolutely loved it. Ed Pesker is a great writer and I love his artwork. So, uh, I don't know. I definitely highly recommend checking it out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this book down in the comments. Peace.